the National Disaster Management Agency NDMA, the United Nations Disaster Assessment Coordination UNDAC Humanitarian Mission, and the United Nations Country Team earlier on Monday updated the public about their flood response activities in the country. The United Nations Disaster Assessment Coordination UNDAC Humanitarian Mission deployed personnel in the Gambia to strengthen flood response after the July 30th and 31st flooding in the country. As part of their mission, UNDAC also makes findings and recommendations on the country's flooding. Speaking at the Preza, Angus Lamkin, the head of UNDAC Humanitarian Mission to the Gambia, explained some of their activities they have done as flood response since their arrival in the country three weeks ago. Uh, myself and the team have spent the last three weeks uh, working on the, on the crisis response. Uh, we've looked at supporting coordination, at supporting assessment, at supporting information management, at supporting uh, crisis communications, and indeed in pulling this together uh, in, in the form of, of a single uh, comprehensive communication uh, which will be shared uh, both here uh, with, with key partners in the Gambia at regional level uh, in West Africa and of course at global level uh, with the United Nations offices in Geneva and New York. I think we've identified uh, very key priorities uh, that have arisen from the crisis. Uh, we looked at the key affected regions of the Greater Banjul area, North Bank, Central River region and Upper River region and also noted the importance of, of extending the, the, the quality response efforts that have been seen in the Greater Banjul area to the, to the outlying regions and districts. We identified the key areas of uh, water and sanitation, health, food security, and protection, and shelter as being the critical areas that required our, our required response efforts. Mr. Lumpkin says waste management should be everyone's responsibility and that they have the capacity to reduce disaster in the country. To say that there is a role to be played um, by all members of society in ensuring that these uh, investments uh, are actually actu are actually realised, and I think this includes um, you know social responsibility in terms of waste management, but it also includes a variety of other efforts, including uh, you know volunteering in support uh, of of climate uh, mitigation efforts, and we saw over the weekend some uh, critical activities in this regard. So I think there's a role to be played uh, by all of these actors. Uh, to, to address each of these particular issues. And I think this is very much the encouragement that if each actor can show that they're playing their role, others will be encouraged um, to play their role also. That if we see this as a collaborate effort uh, on behalf of you know, the, the entirety of society, the international community are engaged as well. And through those efforts, we would very much hope uh, to reduce uh, any future disasters to a level that we cannot, we, ha we have the capacity to manage uh, in the immediate term. Thank you. Serafin Wakana, United Nations country representative to the Gambia says the report would help NDMA in addressing its priorities. So it's going to be approved. That's why we are not going to disclose the report today, even if we call it draft. The, we ensure that the, re the, the, the draft was shared with the key stakeholders, including the, the, those uh, working in the area of humanitarian, but also the, the development partners, because you wanted to have a comprehensive response. And so be with us, just in terms of procedures and, uh, and clearance, the report will be, will be coming soon. It's, uh, it's almost done. On the interventions, I would say for, for we were not waiting for the, for the draft, for the assessment, but this is part of the response too, to have at least a comprehensive report on what is happening in the, in the country, to help the, those who are supporting to also be coordinated. Because sometimes you, you see them you know, intervening, but at the end you don't see the impact, because maybe the priorities are not clearly uh, highlighted. So the report will help NDMA to also address clearly the priorities. For Meanwhile, the National Disaster Management Agency Executive Director, Sanada Hava, says they have so far received $14 million for flood victims. In terms of response, there is a collective effort going on in terms of response. This response is divided into three areas. We have the short term, which is the rapid response, and we will go to the medium term and then the long term. For the short term, the National Disaster Management Agency, the government has released $6 million. 
in addition to the just last Friday, I signed another eight million dollars coming from the World Food Program. As we are talking now, the cash transfer is going on in West Coast region. Um, in, in terms of complementing government's effort and supplementing government's effort, the Red Cross also has a really significant amount of money, even in terms of um, in terms of, uh, for, of food as well as in terms of cash transfer. But then the government is the primary duty bearer at the end of the day. But in terms of response, this is, there is a significant collective effort going on, both with the government and their partners to respond to the uh, to, to the to this uh, to this flood at the moment. Mr. Dahaba alleges that the traditional land allocation system is the problem of flooding in the country. The uh, uh, some of the government land that have been planned, you rarely hear flooding from those areas. That's um, uh, eh? Fajara and Fajara and so you know those are government plan land. You net, hardly you hear any flooding around those. The traditional land allocation system is where the problem comes in, and the policy will actually address some of the challenges that you are. We all know when there is flooding in this country. Somebody called me and said, um, and said "I'm flooded. I'm at back of Farokono." We all know Farokono is not for settlement. Farokono is for rice growing and all, other agricultural activity. Uh, somebody called me and said, I'm at Kalindim Farokono. We all know Farokono is not for settlement. So the policy is just trying to respond to those people. This is why we invited all the stakeholders, the local government, the physical planning, and so on, so that we can have a policy response to some of the challenges that we are facing with regard to those kind of things. The NDMA fifth situational report revealed that 13,053 women and children have been affected by the floods that hit the country. The report specified that 9,965 children between 0 to 59 months have been affected, while 3,088 pregnant and breastfeeding women have been affected by the floods. The NDMA report added that the floods have partially damaged 4,259 households and completely damaged 3,617 mainly in the Greater Banjul area. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Landon Sise.